Hello everyone, so today I'm just going to be giving you a quick tour of my American Girl doll house. So in my doll's house they have two stories, but on the second story there's only one room, but that's fine with me, so let's just get on with the tour. So for this tour I'm going to start over here and work my way around until the end of the house over there. So first I'm going to be showing you Gabby and Sage's room. This is sort of a combined room, but it's not all in one room, so yeah. And if you want to know what those rooms are that I use for the rooms of their house, then stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll tell you. So this blue thing is Sage's bed, and the and this blanket on here is the Dreamy Day bed bedding. It's part of the Dreamy Day bed bedding, and I do not have the Dreamy Day bed. It's a bedding that you purchase separately. And you can't really see, but there is white polka dots on it. And then underneath is a towel for the comforter because it's just, you know, squishy. So, yeah. And then this is Isabel. This is Sage's mini doll from Sage's birthday video. And then over here is this little flower pillow from Home Goods. And then this pillow right here is her third pillow. It's also from the Jimmy Day bed bedding. So, yeah. Oh, whoops, everything's falling here. Just stand up. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Next to Sage's bed, she has this little desk thing. And please do not ask me where I got this from because I got it when I was a baby. So yeah, and we use it for hairpins and stuff for me. But when I got older, I used it for an American Girl nightstand. So that's four drawers and it's like painted and handcrafted and everything. Inside, these are a bunch of headbands from the dollar store. And they like, you open them with the flowers, it's really cute. And then this one has some headbands and some scrunchies that I made myself. In here, we've got these little thingies. They're like a bunch of them in here. And they're for my birthday party from the American Girl store. And there was a bunch of extra ones. And they gave them all to me. So I never even use them in their hair. I don't know why. But yeah. And then this is the random drawer. It has a random plastic cart in here. I don't even know where it's from. And yeah. Okay, and then it has a little cherry charm in here. And then these are little sets of cards from the Art Generation Sleepover set. So, yeah. Now we're moving on to Sage and Gabby's portion of the room, but the actual room and what's in here. So over here we have this guitar, Sage's guitar. And I changed Sage's personality, and she's musical now. And she, like, she loves the arts. Like, she loves painting, and she loves singing and playing the guitar. So, yeah, and dancing. So that's her, like she loves the arts and stuff. So in here is the guitar, and I'm not really going to open it because I just want to get on with the video, so yeah, it's an American Girl. And then this is Honey over here sitting on his little dog bed that's like two pillows, and he's from American Girl, but this is a retired dog now because they recently just changed all of the dogs and all of their stuff, so yeah. But what's weird is when I have him this side, he looks so cute, but then when I turn him to the side... He looks like kind of fat right here. I don't know. It, it just, it's kind of weird. It's like an optical illusion or something. Then there's Gabby. And then behind her, I'm going to move her so that you can see this, is the storage tower. First I'll show you the two bottom drawers, the green ones, and then I'll show you the two top ones. So in here we just have a pair of shoes that aren't supposed to be in here. And then we've got some rollers in here for like curling your hair and some green pins from the hair care set. So I'll just put those by her. And then in here we have this little lovey thingy from Baby Alive. And it's just like a mini lovey thing. It's so cute. And it's their little sisters. I don't know why it's in here. Then Sage's dress is in here. And then we've got this thing from Julie's, one of Julie's outfits, Julie's jumper outfit, I think. And it's so cute in like 70s. It's such an adorable little zipper and everything. It's so cute. So yeah, that's in there. And, yep. All right, now onto the two top shelves. So on the two top shelves, and also there's a poster over here from the American Girl magazine. So I love my pillow with a little doggy on it. Okay, so on this shelf, on this shelf right here, we have this little Furby from McDonald's. And I actually never go to McDonald's, but we went there on a road trip once because there was nowhere else to eat. So, yeah, and it's just, it, its eyes move. You can see, like, when you move, it's, like, 3D thingy. And it's just it's so cute because Furbies are so adorable. But it's not, like, actually interactive. All it can do is move its eyes. So it's not an electronic. It's just a plastic Furby from McDonald's. And it's just so cute. Okay, so it's perfect for American Girl dolls. 
Then I have this mini little octopus thingy, and I don't even know. It's a finger puppet for, like, newborn babies in their miniature bathtub that babies sit in. I don't know, like infants. Then there's this little pink crystal I got from a store, and it was $4. And it's actually a real crystal, so it's kind of cool, I guess. And these mini, mini post-it notes, because Gabby's a fashionista, and she's always creating her own fashion designs. So these are perfect for her. And then up here, we've got the earring tree that it came with. And it has all of the earrings. And Sage is the only one with pierced ears. But the next time I go to the American Girl store, I'm really going to try and pierce Gabby's ears because I really want to. So, yeah. These are the earrings. And it's like a squishy tree. So, yeah. And then over, and this came with the storage tower. Then this is a My Little Pony thingy. <laughs> and it's just like a mini vanity for the ponies. But I use it as just like a little mirror. It's kind of a decoration, I guess you could say. You open it and then the drawers pop out. Like, there's nothing in the drawers because they're too small to fit anything in there. And then there's just a little mirror that's like one of those really bad mirrors. But, you know, yeah. And then on top of the shelf, you can't see. But there are these two little mini Bibles that I got from a hotel I was staying at. And they were just passing them out. So cute for dolls. And it's the New Testament, not the Old Testament. It just has the New Testament in it because they couldn't fit all of it. So here it is. And you can actually have, there's actually the scripture in here. So, yeah. And it's so awesome. Whoops. And it's from the hotel I was staying at. And they were just passing them out to people. So it was cool, I guess. And, yeah. And they were passing out regular size Bibles, too. But they were passing out these mini ones, and they're perfect for American Girl Dolls. I already have my own Bible, so I thought that'd be cute for them. Next, we got Gabby's bed, and I'm gonna try and hurry up this video because it's pretty getting like six minutes. I don't want it to be like 20 minutes for the whole house, so I'm just gonna try and hurry up. So, over here, this is Gabby's bed, and the bed is like so awesome. And I got it from Home Goods, and it was $25. That's actually a really good price for an American Girl bed because the one on American Girl, the Dreamy Day bed, is like $175. Or more, I don't know. But, yeah. And then on top of it is the Dreamy Day Bed bedding. So, yeah. the only, Everything from, is from the Dreamy Day Bed bedding except for this. My grandma sewed this orange pillow and it's perfect bedding. Then we have her nightstand, which is supposed to be like an earring thingy for to hold like human, like for girls to have their earrings in. But I just use it as a nightstand for them because I already have my own. This is a little pink phone mini eraser thing. And a lot of AG tubers have this. You can get it off eBay for like $5. And it's actually an eraser, but I use it for their phones. I never try and, like, ruin it or use it for erasing thingies. And I got it at my book fair at my school. Then we have this glasses case, because that's where Gabby keeps her sunglasses. And then her awesome little necklace that she came with, because she's my American girl. And I have some charms on there that I re just recently got. So, yeah. Also, I forgot to show you on the side of Sage's um, nighttime scene, she has her phone the like Gabby's, but it's orange on the back. And then this little box from Sage's birthday video. And it's just so cute. It's silver with a little bow in it. I don't, nothing's in there, but it's just cute. Now we're moving on to Josefina's bed. So on Josefina's bed, we've got this little sheet from Joanne's. And then yes, she has another little eraser phone, pink like Gabby's. And I put like a little camera on it. And then this fabric, again, is from Joanne's. And then those two pillows, my grandma sewed them. And then the bed is her box that she came in, and so is Sage's bed. I forgot to mention that. Then we have this little dog bed. And basically, it's Coke chocolate chips in here, but I named him Coco. Or sometimes we call him Brownie. I don't know. Just a bunch of random names. I just think like, chocolate chips a good dog name. And then his pillow that he came in. And this random box that's just his bed. So it's supposed to be, like, for decoration, but my mom gave it to me. So it's a perfect dog bed for him. So, yeah, and it has a little collar, but I bought that collar. And then Meatloaf's over here. He's not supposed to be over here, but he is. And he's hard. All of them are hard. And these are all retired dogs that I have. So Meatloaf's so cute, and he's over there. So, yeah. So back here, usually the desk is right here, but my sister is using it right now, and she didn't want to give it to me for the video because she was playing with it. So this is Julie's lunchbox from her set. And it opens and stuff, but I'm not going to open it because I'm filming with this. I'm filming with one hand. Then in here is blue bin that I have, like, over there, too. And it's from the dollar store. So, yeah. And then it has mini Emily in here and mini Julie and then, like, a mini American Girl bag. Also, the blue carpet is basically Josefina's room. Like, they share these, though. And then there's blue carpet's Josefina's room and the purple is the living room. 
All right, so the video is getting pretty long, almost 10 minutes. I know, like, I'm really freaking about this video because it's going to take a long time to upload for me. So, yeah. And then, okay, so Hosefina is sitting here, the nerdy Hosefina. So, yeah, she's sitting there in this chair that you dine with your dolls on your table. But the arms are kind of wiggly for me, so it doesn't even fit on any of the tables in my house. So I don't even eat with my doll. It's kind of creepy to me. But at the American Girl store I do, but not at my house. And it's just a lounge chair for them. Then back here, this little blue thing has two little purses. This is from our generation. And then this is a gift card holder. And these are perfect purses for them. But I still don't like because it, it has like random candles on it because it was a birthday gift card holder. And then the container from the dollar store. Now we're moving on to the kitchen. So the table and chairs is from Home Goods, and I think it was around thirty dollars. I don't know for the chairs. I don't know if the chairs came with the table. But I'm pretty sure they did. But anyway, yeah. Okay, so ignore the movie downstairs. This is a little bag. I don't know where it's from, but it's blue and it's just perfect American Girl size. Then they have some food on the table. It's all from American Girl on this telephone. I had the tape because it falls off. It's from our generation. It came with the kitchen, which is all from our generation. And everything that's in there is from our generation. And American Girl foods in the fridge. And then here is Sage. So that's the kitchen. And then all the way back here. Whoops. Okay, so sorry about that. But all the way back here is a Hello Kitty trash can. It was supposed to be like a coin jar or a money jar. But I use it as a trash can. And you can't really see it most of the time. And I forget that I have it. So, yeah. Okay, friends, so I decided I'm going to make a part two of this video. So, yeah, where I show the bathroom and the stable. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Part one and part two will be up probably, uh, I don't know, in a couple days or something. So, yeah. Bye!